Today on Fresno State Focus, we'll tell you what churches are doing every weekend. We'll tell you how you can learn a new language by this popular Korean group. March is finally over and no joke, it's April Fool's Day. We'll tell you what happened during the entire month of March. Fresno State Focus starts now. Hello and welcome to Fresno State Focus. I'm Lizette Rios. And I'm Zion Goodman. We're bringing you this show from our own homes as we continue to social distance. We're in for a really bad two weeks. That's how the president is describing our nation's situation with the COVID-19 pandemic. There are over 9,500 people in our state who are sick with the virus. Over 200 already lost their battle with this. The, pre the president and our governor expect those numbers to grow by a lot in the next, next two weeks. According to the San Jose Mercury News, the cases of people in the intensive care unit in our state quadrupled in the last week. Fresno County is reporting 68 cases, but only 325 tests have been conducted in the county. There are no reported deaths. The numbers are more heartbreaking in Tulare County, where a second person has died, as the number of cases there are 59. Eight of those cases are in Visalia at the healthcare center. It's Census Day. Have you filled out the forms yet? Today is a perfect day to do so. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, about 50 million households already responded to the 2020 census. The deadline is now postponed again, so you have some more time to fill out the questionnaire. Go to my2020census.gov to fill out the form online. It should only take you about 10 minutes. You can also send the form by mail or call the number on your invitation. In the next three weeks, the IRS will begin sending out money to help those financially impacted by the coronavirus. If you filed a 2018 or 2019 tax return, then the IRS will automatically direct deposit the money into your bank account. Individuals can get $1,200 plus $500 for each qualifying child. If your banking info isn't on file, the Treasury plans to open a web portal for you to put in your information. Beware of scammers. They're trying to steal your information through text, email, phone call, and fake websites. For more information, visit irs.gov slash coronavirus. Grocery stores are asking people to leave your reusable shopping bags in your car. With the COVID-19 pandemic, grocery stores are asking you, asking you to use the bags they provide instead of bringing in your own to cut down on germs. Signs are posted outside that warn people about using their personal bags. Our classmate, Henry Flores, has a tip if you still want to bring your own bag. When you go grocery shopping, try purchasing a bag that the store provides. This helps prevent the spread of germs. If you can't afford a bag and bring your own, make sure you disinfect it before you go shopping. A good way to disinfect any personal bags before you go grocery shopping is by using any type of, any type of disinfectant spray or wipes to clean the bag. But if you bring your own in, you'll have to bag your own groceries. The coronavirus is impacting the way people practice their faith. Some are finding new ways to go to church. Many churches are closed because of the coronavirus. Families who normally attend Easter Sunday services will not be able to attend this year. Some churches and synagogues are using technology to share their services online. Temple Beth Israel in Fresno is using Zoom, while also live streaming services through Facebook. First Baptist in Hanford is using Vimeo, an online video streaming service for its Sunday service messages. And so when this all hit, all that for us, it just ramped it up to where we went from, hey, this is something we want to roll out here in the net. Well, in fact, our, our target was to have our first video service on Easter Sunday. And then we just had to move it up, you know, three or four weeks quicker. Easter Sunday and Passover will have a different feel this year as congregants trade the pew for the computer. With the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases and deaths increasing, there are still people that doubt that this pandemic is anything to worry about. Hector Mendoza tells us how some people are not following the shelter in place order. If I get Corona, I get Corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. There are people who doubt that this pandemic is serious. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. This virus ain't that serious. But some people have taken this doubt a step further. Videos are circulating where people are licking toilet seats, items on shelves and shopping carts. This is a problem for people that are taking the right steps to keeping their families safe, like Oscar Aquino. He has a wife with cancer and a mother-in-law over the age of 70. It's hard to tell who's carrying it, who's bringing it in. 
And who's taking it out? Once you exit the store, you can possibly have it. You don't know. You're in contact with so many people and you don't really know. This is something that we're facing today in this century. Dr. Bruce Aylward of the World Health Organization was alarmed when he found out about people who were taking the situation lightly. You are not an island in this. You're part of a, uh, a, a broader community. You're part of transmission chains. If you get infected, um, you are making this much more complicated and you are putting people in danger, not just yourself. It is scary to know that there are people out there putting others at risk of increasing the spread of this virus. But there are also companies that are taking precautions to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Many grocery stores like this Costlas in Modesto are sanitizing shopping carts as people walk in and have put up signs letting shoppers know what they're doing to protect their customers and their employees. This situation can stop depending on how we take it. We can slow down the spread of COVID-19, but we have to do our part. Reporting from my home here in Modesto, California, Hector Mendoza, Fresno State Focus. We know we sound repetitive, but we have to make sure we're doing what we can to help slow down the spread and protect people who are susceptible to the virus. Fresno State begins spring break next week. What can people expect? Joanne Foss is live to tell us what the community can expect for those wanting to travel. Thank you, Zai. I am at home right now where everyone should be because the shelter in place order and social distancing guidelines are now extended until April 30th. President Trump announced the extension of the quarantine on Sunday, making it another month before it's over or extended again. He said that the death rate peak is likely to hit in two weeks. So the last two weeks are for extra precaution in making sure the virus is no longer a threat. California state parks and parking lots are closed in an effort to reduce crowding. You can still visit some parks, but you will need to walk in. All of the facilities inside the parks, like museums and restaurants, are closed. And California isn't the only state closing major locations like parks and beaches. The majority of beaches in Florida are shut down, excluding Daytona Beach, which is a popular spring break location. But county officials say they are evaluating the situation daily, so I wouldn't buy a ticket to Florida if I were you. All Valley school districts remain closed. Some schools had return dates for mid-April, but those are being extended to the end of April because of the extension of the shelter-in-place order. Some restaurants around the city are still open for to-go and drive through orders only. Practicing my social distancing at home, Joanne Voss, Fresno State Focus. Back to you. We've been hearing a lot about how washing our hands can help us prevent disease. And since it never hurts to hear it again, today we have an example of the right way to do it. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, also known as the CDC, recommends the duration of a proper hand washing should be 20 seconds. That's roughly the length of the ABC song. Singing it out loud or in your head will help you wash for the right amount of time. Isaac Diaz, the son of Carla Castaneda, one of our classmates, shows us how to do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, would you sing with me? And just as Carla is showing us here with her daughter, let's remember to help the little ones stay clean and hopefully out of danger. International Women's Month was all of March. Coming up on Fresno State Focus, Melissa Munoz has an update on a woman we first met years ago. But here, but first, here's Gio with their look outside. We've been experiencing sunny conditions. I'll let you know when we can expect rain next. I got the ball that's spirit. Up in my head. Up in my head. Up in my head. I got that ball dog spirit. Up in my head. Up in my head to say. Oh, that ball dog spirit. Deep in my heart. Hey, deep in my heart. Hey, deep in my heart. Got that ball dog spirit. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart to stay. I got that ball dog spirit. Down in my toes. Down in my toes. Down in my toes, I got that bulldog spirit. Down in my toes, hey. Down in my toes to stay. I got that bulldog spirit up in my head, deep in my heart. Down in my toes, I got that bulldog spirit all over me, hey. all over me to stay. I got that bulldog spirit.
it. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. Yeah. Deep in my heart. I've got that bulldog spirit. A few years ago, here on Fresno State Focus, a classmate introduced us to a woman starting her own business. Now, Melissa Munoz goes back to see how things are going, or were going, before the coronavirus hit. Fresno State Focus spoke to Alma Cortez roughly three years ago. We came back to see an update on her story at Season Trend Studio. Back then, I was still fairly new. I was booked on my first day, but I didn't really know what the future had in store for me. I didn't know if I was going to be busy in the future. I knew I wanted to, but I didn't know how long it would take. So I basically developed a plan for myself that helped me move in the direction that I wanted to go to. Cortez is able to grow her business and expand to eyebrow products. She is also able to make a second location in Los Angeles with the help of the Season Trend Studio owner. Fresno is her home. Um, Season Trends is her home. But she has the capability and the professionalism and the skill set um, to go far beyond here. And if I can help her do that, I am Team Alma. Cortez explains her success wouldn't have happened without the help of her coworkers and her clients. I could have moved, you know, I could have went elsewhere, but staying here, I just feel like it feels like home. Alma Cortez's biggest advice to upcoming women in growing business is Don't give up. Stay consistent. Consistency is key. Communicate. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Both women are examples of those who make their passions into a career. Melissa Munoz, Fresno State Focus. The Brows by Alma business continues to grow and Season Trend Studios has services from nails to hair, all by women. They all look forward to serving the community again when non-essential businesses are allowed to open back up. Gio Alvarado will talk about the weather for the week. Gio? Hi, I'm Joe Brado with your focus on weather. In the back of me, you can see the skies are clear. You can see the tree behind me moving because of the wind. As the low pressure makes its way to the valley, it's been bringing these windy conditions. Looking at our national satellite, we see that we have some rain leaving the east coast, but some rain over the New England area. In the Midwest of the country, we have some rain and snow making its way to the Dakotas. Looking at our western satellite, the Pacific Northwest is experiencing some rain and in the Rocky States, some snowfall. Our regional satellites shows that we have no clouds and no rain in sight. Your focus on air quality is green for the whole Central Valley. Today's almanac, Fresno will tie its high temperature. Overnight, the temperatures will be cooler than usual. We are nowhere close to tying or breaking the record of 90 degrees reported back in 1966. Currently right now, a good portion of the valley is in the mid-upper 60s, but the South Valley is in the low 70s. Tonight, the valley would be in the mid-40s and in the mountains, a lot cooler. 26 is expected in Shaver Lake, 37 for Mariposa, and 32 in Oakers. Looking at our extended outlook, we have sunny conditions for the valley until Saturday. The temperatures will be in the upper 70s and 60s. By Monday, rain is likely in the forecast. It will increase by 30% on Tuesday. The temperature will be in the upper 60s. Low temperatures of 44 on Monday and 48 on Tuesday. Now that's your focus on weather. The Student Cupboard is beating food insecurity with March Matchup. It's a month-long effort to raise money for the Fresno State Food Pantry that serves 5,500 students a month. I had the opportunity to show you what happened. This year, March Matchup exceeded its goal of $150,000, raising just over that amount. It's a great cause. I, for myself, have experienced food insecurity throughout Fresno State out of the 40. Out of the 25,000 students here at Fresno State, 43.7% have experienced food insecurity. So just giving back to an organization that has helped me personally throughout my college experience is definitely a great way. During March matchup, Fresno State students like Munez and members of the community donated to the student cupboard. Community partners matched the donations dollar for dollar, up to 150,000. Donors like Moss Adams, LLP, Granville Homes and Dutch Bros Coffee all chipped in. Our match matchup campaign is our fundraising campaign for the entire month of March that funds the entire student cover. And so today we are out here with Dutch Bros. All Dutch Bros locations are donating a portion of the proceeds today for every drink purchase to the March matchup fundraising campaign. Donations help replenish the student cupboard. It offers fresh and canned food, cereal, milk, and even hygiene products for students who are on a tight budget. It was like it was, it was really good because like it feels good to know that the university cares about the students, you know, and like food security. 
With COVID-19 restrictions causing layoffs, the cupboard is seeing an increase in students struggling to buy food. At this time, the student cupboard is needed more than ever. March matchup might be over, but you can still donate to the student cupboard. Find out more information on their social media platforms at Student Cupboard. A new feature is under construction at Fresno State, or it soon will be again. 67% of Fresno State students voted yes to a new student union in March 2018, and now that vision is on its way. Nadia Gonzalez shows us how students can get involved with the process and what to expect during and after construction. It's dirty, it's messy, it's loud, but this is the sound of progress for Fresno State's new student union set to open in a year and a half. The groundbreaking ceremony took place in February. It's pretty amazing to actually be here and to see the activity because this has been a dream but it actually goes back for, for many, many years with, with planning and thinking about how we could have such a great place for our students who deserve to have something that's nice. Linda and Stuart Resnick, who own The Wonderful Company, the company that makes this juice and a lot of other things, donated $10 million. They celebrated with Fresno State at the ceremony. USU board chair Lauren Flores says students were, are, and will continue to be a part of this project. That means uh, meeting with students, uh, meeting with uh, the members of the design build team to see how we can continue to keep students uh, involved in the process. In 1968, the student union was built for 10,000 students. Now enrollment has reached 25,000. It's just not big enough. One reason why students are excited about this. Even though I won't be able to see this new USU being built, I think that it's something that as a student who's been here, it's something I really wish I had. So if I can't have it, why wouldn't I want people who are incoming students to have that privilege? The Resnick Student Union will be two times bigger than the current USU. It will have a ballroom, dining options, lots of meeting areas, and places to just lounge. At Fresno State, Nadia Gonzalez, Fresno State Focus. For those who would like to get involved with the creation of the Resnick Student Union, you can contact Lauren Flores at her email listed below. COVID-19 may have stopped concerts, but this K-pop group is doing something special and different for its fans. Coming up, we'll tell you how you can learn to speak Korean from the comfort of your own home. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. Esports is becoming accepted as a sport and the players are being identified as athletes. It has even been introduced in many colleges as an official sport. Hector Mendoza answers the question, is esports a sport? One of the biggest arguments involving esports is whether it should be considered a sport. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And others would disagree. See, I would say no, nah, it's not a sport. But there is a case for both sides. Sydney Rupert is an Overwatch competitor and she says it's a sport. Um, I think it's a little bit different than sports where you use like your entire body. Mostly it's kind of like a mind game. Um, so I guess like a brain sport, more similar to like chess or like other things like that. Um, it's not so much like lacrosse or football, um, but it still does require a lot of mechanical skill. Aiden Avila also competes in Overwatch, but to him, it's just fun in games. I think like sports are more like actual physical activity, like. I would consider cheerleading a sport, all those other things, sports, football, basketball, typical, yeah. This is more, I can, it's not like the same league of those sports, but it's like something of its own aspect. But the one thing all players can agree on is that the argument for whether it should be considered a sport is not that important. I know it seems like we're not really doing anything when we're just sitting there on a mouse and keyboard, but when people start playing, they realize that it's a lot harder than it looks. Before this varsity team was added to Fresno State, there was an intramural team. But now that they're backed by Fresno State, it has given them another route. So it's a whole lot different. So I think like it's benefit us and we could earn scholarships through that, you know? So not necessarily a waste of time if you use it wisely oh. or find the right opportunities, I guess. For Avila, who doesn't think esports is a sport, he's happy to benefit from it being a sport. Hector Mendoza, Fresno State Focus. The debate of whether esports is a sport may never end, but one thing is for sure, there are a lot of serious competitors. 
the 2020 Olympics will be happening next year in 2021. The International Olympic Committee announced this week that Olympics will be delayed because of COVID-19. The Games were supposed to happen this summer in Tokyo, Japan. The committee released a new date on Monday. The Games will begin on July 23rd next year. If you're looking for a way to get through boredom of being home all day because of the stay-at-home order, how about learning a new language? Daisy Ramirez tells us how K-pop group by the name of BTS is offering free Korean lessons. The K-pop band that has been capturing the hearts of millions across the globe are not only entertainers, but now they're language teachers. They launched their new language series on March 24th on the Weverse app, connecting fans with their favorite groups. Each episode contains a three minute language lesson that fans seem to love. For those who are not uh, fluent in Korean, it gives them the opportunity to also learn um, as well as, you know, taking part of, you know, something that they, they, they already like. It's pretty simple. You make a free account, go into the media section, click into the series, choose which language you prefer, press play, and watch a video full of lessons. There are 30 episodes to this series. I think they kind of introduce it in a way that um, is interesting, obviously, and it makes it fun with like the videos and stuff. So I think that's why, like, that's, uh, this program's really good, you know, to, like, get you started off. Each episode is released every Monday night at Korean Standard Time, which is 5 a.m. Sunday Pacific Standard Time. So far, four episodes are up and running. Daisy Ramirez, Fresno State Focus. There are more languages in addition to Korean, and it's not just about lessons. You can also connect with the band by writing messages to them, watching vlogs, or watching their latest music videos. If you're interested in the program, go to weverse.io. School campuses all over the country are still closed and nobody knows for sure when students will go back. Buchanan High School in Clovis is one of the schools that is teaching completely online. Mackenzie Fox is a freshman at Buchanan. She's only one of many students who is adapting to learning to online learning. She finds some classes easy to do at home, but others like her honors math class, not so much. Mackenzie says she's worried that this may set her back for next year. It's been a lot harder and I think it might like affect like test scores and stuff and like my classes next year, especially because if they teach something that I didn't learn properly or I didn't even learn like right at all. So it can like affect a lot of things. Students like Mackenzie are doing their best to stay on top of their work. They know that staying home and learning online is best for everybody while the coronavirus is still spreading. A lot of businesses are feeling the pain of having to close because of Governor Gavin Newsom's shelter-in-place order. Gracie Aranda talked to the owner of a new business in Clovis that was just getting started when the COVID-19 pandemic happened. Every Tuesday, Samantha Fernandez takes her two-year-old daughter out for a play day. She loves coming here because she loves just to run free and play with the other kids. It's her only time to really socialize with other little ones and it's very safe and very clean. And just a wonderful place for her to come. It doesn't matter how the weather looks outside, whether it's sunny or cloudy and windy as today, club has just opened a new business place, Eminent Indoor Playground, where kids can come and have fun all year long. Even on days when unhealthy air quality forced kids to stay inside. The whole purpose of this place was when kids can't be outside, they can be active inside. Um, that's why I made this whole place looking like an outdoor, like with trees and clouds, so they feel like they're outdoor even though they're playing inside. The playground is for kids seven and under. There's a soft area for the babies and the older kids have their own area. I do say safety is her top priority. She makes sure all of the surface are clean and she says they deep clean the entire playground at the end of the day. The indoor playground opened to the public in February. They had it to close in March because of the pandemic restrictions. They're looking forward to reopen as soon as it's safe to go back. In Clovis, Grace Aranda, Fresno State Focus. M&M Indoor Playground is temporarily closed because of COVID-19 restrictions, but you can always go and check their social media, Facebook and Instagram at M&M Indoor Playground. So being at home, working from home has been easier for me the last few weeks, but I know that's not the case for everybody. How are you all doing? 
so far, okay, Zai, I am an essential worker, so I have to go to work. I'm just bummed out because my spring break trip was canceled. I thought I would never say this, but I miss being at school. Uh, <laughs> I Last night, I worked out to a video on YouTube, and I feel like I'm going to do it tonight because I want to stay healthy because it's really hard to stay healthy when you're being at home and all you do is just lay in bed or sit, sit you know, sit. And I'm doing okay. I don't go to work anymore. I work at a restaurant, so it closed. Um, but I actually live with a nurse who's going to work with COVID patients um, in the like coming week. So I'm actually moving to Grover Beach to quarantine there with a different member of my family, which actually should be kind of cool. So, Well, COVID-19 is growing in Fresno County and all of California. Remember, the shelter in place is extended till the end of April. Please stay at home. Don't leave unless it's absolutely necessary and essential. Also, keep washing your hands and do your part to stop the spread. Fresno State Focus will not be here next week because of spring break, but we will see you in two weeks. Take good care. Goodbye. <laughs>